Hey, what's up, my babies? <laughs> hey, I need to clean my room. Hey, what's up, Royal Babies? It is the post! King Baby back here with another video. Hey, y'all see, y'all see, but title, I don't know why I keep on saying, hey, y'all see. But hey, the title says, My Toxic Teacher. I'm saying, this motherfucker, Devon's hair, hey, I fuck out here now. I think that's Devon's hair. Hey. But hey, I fuck with these videos. I don't I fuck with it. I just recently started watching, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, let's watch this reaction and let's see what the fuck is up with this toxic teacher so I can clean up my room, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Hey. Hey. Boy, you so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even just enjoy my sandwich that I've been saying something. Uh, yep. <laughs> Life. Yep. The Absolutely fuck, bro? Absolutely great. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? In the year, me Lira. In the year, I In the year, I In the year, I <laughs> I hated middle school. I'm 20 now, and looking back on my middle school days, bruh, I realized it was trash. Everything was based on one thing I God didn't man. have, and that was social status. The school I went to, if you ain't have no game, you ain't have no name. If you wasn't on a team, the shorties wouldn't cream. If hey! you was a dork, they'd roast you for sport. If you was a somebody, you got love from everybody. And I really can't blame them because majority of kids are mature around this age. It'd be like that. Except for like, you know, the young bloods that be out there in these streets growing up fast, hustling to get that gua la la la. So in middle school, status meant a lot. I mean, what can you expect from the average middle schooler? A, a PhD? I know I wasn't <laughs> trying to apply for jobs at 13. Hey. The only thing I was trying to apply for was was a hub member shit. Like, nigga, what? No keys. <laughs> no keys. If, if I had a credit card back then, bro, I'd be paying with that bitch. <laughs> I'm telling you. 4K cheeks from Lisa Ann, Alexis, Texas, and Kimberly Monroe for a dollar? Dog, you know I try to sign up faster than a citizen stimulus check. No cap. No keys. Though it always ultimately ended in me not signing up because I was broke. No cap. Get your money up, little nigga. If I if I had my, if I was in my bag back then, right now I'm grown. I'm too grown for this shit. But if I was if I was in my bag, then I, I'd be paying. No, no more folks could be making a lot of money out of me. No cap. Eighth grade year of middle school. I barely had status back then because I was a die-hard introvert. I always kept to myself, mainly because I had no confidence back then. I mean, but like, also, hey, me too. I've like been that. I've been in that place. Deal with them. I recently changed. Annoying classmates and them musty, coffee, breath smelling, self absorbed, egotistical teachers like this one teacher I had. We're gonna call her Miss K. She was like this 5'8 lady with big hair, gigantic chest trampoline, no, and no booty over here. We can like the letter P. Now, I <laughs> Proud booty man, but if a bit got some chugs, a bit got some chugs. Said, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I hated that lady, bro. Hey, yo. She would always be on my case about everything I did. I never got a break. She would do anything at any cost <laughs> to make me look like a straight idiot because apparently, in her mind, she saw me as an easy target to pick on trying to make herself look good in front of 14 and 13 year olds. And as a kid, or just in life in general, an easy target is the worst status to have. No like, get you know, lady. Yo, hey, man. bro, y'all get yourself together. Y'all make sure no one, no, no one steps on y'all. Y'all get yourself together, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I ain't giving you enough tension at the crib? Uh, that's tough. Overall, when I came to her class and she tortured me mentally, I let a lot of it slide because I didn't want to go to alternative school. So to sum it up, she was my headache. However, that headache would always go away when I would talk to the one girl in that class I had a sweet spot for. That girl also got big jokes. I mean, like, it's animation, but damn. Look, look at that one there. Look at this one. That's a girl, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know. Call her Wendy. This girl to me was just something else, man. Shorty a little fatty. <laughs> Shorty my little bow tie. Shorty got the fatty. 
sure that we got you cool swing. Every she time we fuck me, I rob it. The baddest female in my grade. Hey, I fuck with the song though. If shorty got the fatty. I mean, like the way, the way he's describing it with the song. Hey. She was literally the baddest female in my grade. So I know I was doing something. It's like whenever I talk to Wendy, nobody else mattered. I felt like we were the only ones in the room. Our vibes are great. You were something, my nigga. Match. We I mean, hey. Together. It's good to feel for a girl, I'm saying. Shit, alarms type shit. Hey, yo. Hold on, what's going on now? Bro, I think, hold on. Ah, right, baby, we still, we still going. Trouble together. It didn't matter. If a hundred people called my name, I couldn't hear nothing but her voice. And that hey. made me feel like that nigga. Hey. Everybody wanted Wendy. And how me and Wendy were, it always pissed off Miss K, which fueled her even more to retain my status as an easy target. Looking back on it though, I'm starting to really think that she was just a hater. Or the fact that we were just troublemakers with benefits interrupting her class all the time. Oh, so y'all both drum A O. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. One day I'm in Miss K's science class, Look easy. minding my business, taking a test. I'm high key kind of hungry because I skipped breakfast. Wendy right beside me as usual. I get done with my test, get up to go give Miss K the test. I sit back down and wait for the rest of my classmates to finish. Like 15 minutes goes by and Miss K tells everybody that she's gonna call everybody up to the desk to see our grades. So we're all free to talk again while she calls us up one by one to her desk. Everybody in class socializes and I ain't having it even though Wendy's socializing too. So I go get up to sharpen my pencil now, like I said before, in middle school, I was a die hard introvert. So wherever I'd go, I'd be in my own little world, you know? Hey. Literally, you had to call me two or three times for me just to respond. No keys. Minding my own business. No cap, I couldn't hear a word anybody told me for a good hot minute. And I purposely stood at the pencil sharpener just to waste time. All of a sudden, I hear, hey, pip squeak. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around and everybody's laughing. I mean, everybody, even Wendy. And I'm thinking, God, like, dang. bruh, that's the best you can come up with, crusty old lady? Really? At that time, I couldn't handle that type of pressure of being the classroom joke. I, I didn't have enough mental strength to handle it. I, I was a troublemaker. And I didn't want Wendy to think less of me because I let this old lady roll. Oh, she, he's, he's gonna say something. Of everybody. My mind was running all over the place, but I ain't going out like that. Hey, so this was he, the day he's gonna say something. To stop letting people run over me. I let my gangster out and unloaded the whole clip on my teacher holding nothing back even though i knew alternative school was at my door and this is how it went bitch i know you ain't over there talking looking like randall from recess you chip tooth mustard foot ball headed hoe i ain't done with you you fat back nasty breath sweaty mouth hoe why'd you have to do this to yourself you chubby neck skinny leg wide coochie hoe oh you done <laughs> Looking back on it, I'm not proud of what I did because <laughs> she kind of cried afterwards. But um, it had to be done. After she that, cried. my street cred in school most definitely went up, and my confidence did through the roof. The numbers are going through the roof, people. <laughs> did too. Did I care about her feelings at the time? Nope. No. Did I get alternative school? Yes. Yes. Oh. God dang, that's an alpha money. Hey, Ayo, don't make sure. It's like you're on no. Can I, be, can I be promoting this channel? Hey, y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button. Make sure to hit that bell notification. You know what I'm saying? Join the real babies, the strongest family on the interwebs. Y'all know what I'm saying? Hey, fuck it. That's it for the video. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it.